Jones and Wells are on special assignment to Chief Ramsey right now. Mm-hmm. And uh, while we know that they are special people, oh, yeah. mm-hmm. there are certain aspects of this course that even special people have to get through. So, the idea of getting through any obstacle is very important. You may have forgotten why, but I'll explain it to you again. When you're chasing a junkie down the street and he's high on PCP, he can do anything. He can scale walls like Spider-Man. He's got strength of two or three men. He's fast. He's agile. So you have to be able to keep up with him. You all got that? Yes, sir. sir. All right. Today we're going to start on the ropes. I want each one of you to go up those ropes, and I'll be timing you. You ready? All right, here. Get some chalk. First one's up there. No, I can't do this. You can do it. No, I'm telling you, I don't. I can't. Well, brother, you'll be out of the academy. Okay, come on. Let's get off your ropes and up those ropes. Right. Go, go. That's it. Very nice. Right. Good time, Joe. Good Think positively. Pick yourself up at the top. I'm trying, and all I can see is the crook getting away. Well, don't think about the crook. Think about a uh, large dog with rabies snapping at your gorgeous derriere. I was trying to climb the rope, Eric. I shoot the dog. Hey, sir. Excuse me, uh, Allison. Sam and I see you going. The chief expected us hours ago. Oh, you can go. Your partner stays here to like see her up that rope. And I don't care if it takes all day. Oh, come on, she can do it later, can't she, son? She'll do it today, and you better get your tail in gear, or I'll right, get another recruit to fill in your special assignment. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Sam, listen, I gotta take off. I gotta get a rear okay? I'll find out what he wants, I'll fill you in later, if you're still here, okay? I'll probably still be here trying to climb the right, damn right. rope. Right, buddy. Right, buddy. Right, buddy. Yes, sir. I think you got it, you got it. Yeah. All right, hit the bell and come down. Good. Yeah. No, Frisco, it's about time you got here. Where's your butt? Uh, she had a little trouble with the obstacle course, yeah. so I told her I'd fill her in later. Frisco, let me tell you something. Just between the two of us, it was a sorry day when the department decided to allow women on the force. What are you talking about? Your coach, she's a woman. No, oh, Anna. Well, no, Anna is different. After all, Anna fights like a man, and her training with the WSB makes her unique. <laughs> no, I don't think she'd really like hearing that. Well, didn't I just tell you that it was between the two of us? Well, I don't All know. right, all right. Maybe you should think about changing your partner. Have you ever had a woman partner? I mean, I know you have, but I mean, when you were on the force and stuff, they're great. I mean, they think like a woman. They have the angles. Well, you know, I mean, they, they think uh, like a woman. All right, all right, all right. All right. First, Sir, okay, if you say so, right. if you say so, all right. Now, I've got an assignment for you for today. Oh, great. What do you need? I want you to question your sister-in-law. Tanya, what's what about? Jake and Bobby talked to me about this. It seems that Tanya lost her keys to the brownstone, and she thinks it was a while back. No kidding. She never said anything. Well, she thinks that they're misplaced, but we've got to know for sure, because they could have been stolen. Yeah, well, how long ago? Well, that's what I want you to find out. I want you to pin her down as to when she actually last used those keys. You know, if it was before the murder, and somebody really stole them, that could mean that... Somebody not living in the brownstone was the murderer. Exactly, but we know for sure that nobody broke into the brownstone the night that Johnson was murdered. No. No, no, the doors and windows were locked. I checked them myself. Somebody had to let Johnson in. Unless he stole the key. If he did that, why would he do it? Frisco, there were still a lot of unanswered questions. Finding out about that key would be a good start, though. All right, I'll get right on it. Uh, Another thing, Frisco. Mm. Anna called from Laurelton last night. It seems that Earl Moody's body was found. He was murdered. In Laurelton? Yes, yes. Well, no more after the funeral. They're going to have a reading of the will. Did he have a lot of breath? From what I understand, he had a great deal of money. You know, Johnson was his nephew, so if there's any motive for these two murders, it probably is money. Yeah. Amazing how far people go for for some cash, huh? I'll get right on. Yeah. Take care of yourself. No, I'm trying. Hey, oh, great. hey, bro, how's it going? Listen, wait, wait, I got to I gotta run, man. I got a special assignment I'm working on with Ramsey. I got to pick Sam up at the academy, hey, okay? We got to talk. Tony, I got to split, man. Yeah, well, we can't. We got to talk right now, okay? Why do we always have to talk when I'm in a hurry to go someplace? Look, what I do you want? wait, I don't want to interfere with your business. I'm just not sure it's a great idea for you to be partnered with Samantha. What are you talking about? 
Well, she's a good rookie. She's going to make a good cop. She's also an incredible-looking young woman. Or hadn't you noticed that? Yeah, I noticed. She's terrific-looking. So what? That's not a problem? You don't see a problem in that? No, I don't see a problem in that to you. Uh-huh. There's nothing to worry about, Tony. Okay? Zero. Mm -hmm. Felicia's in Texas, and you're spending all your time around Sam. I'm not spending all my time. She's my bloody partner. What do you want me to do? Why are you making such a big deal out of this? Well, maybe it's because I noticed the other night that you didn't mention that Sam was in the apartment when Felicia called. Oh, Tony, there was no reason to mention that Sam was in the apartment. She's like one of the guys to me. Does Sam know that? Does she think of herself as one of the guys? Wait a minute, okay? Before you start thinking real stupid things, I love Felicia. You know I love Felicia. I'm going to marry Felicia. You didn't mention Sam. There was no reason to mention Sam to Felicia. It's stupid. I mean, she would have started getting jealous, and I don't want that to happen. I just want you to be careful, all right? Well, just do me a and favor. just make sure that Sam knows where she stands. Oh, I'll do that, all right? She's my partner, and that's it. Now, just stay the hell out of my business, okay? I have to go do a job. Remember, you wanted me to get a real job? Partner, how's it going? I can't do this, all right? You see? I told you I can't do it. My hands are blistered and my arms feel like they're falling off. Come on. It's not the end of the world, okay? It's just a stupid rope. No, it's not. I let you down. You're going to have to get another partner. I'm not getting another partner. You haven't let me down. You're not giving up on me. I have been trying for hours and I can't do it. I'll hold the rope for you. Now you do what you've been doing, and I'll see if I can help you. Okay? Come on. Okay. <sighs> see what I mean? Well, honey, look. You can't just pull yourself up like that with your arms. You have to use your legs and your feet, okay? Now when you jump up on it, try to put your feet together like this on it, okay? And you pull yourself up. Yeah, watch, see? You pull yourself up with your feet like that. You see? Mm. Okay? Okay. You need all the okay. help you can get. Alright? Okay. All right. Put your feet together on it. That's it. That's it. Now pull yourself up. That a girl. Keep going. Come on. Pull yourself up. Use your feet. You got a lot to pull. Come on. Keep I'm going. Trying. I'm trying. That's it. You're doing it. You're making it. Come on. I can't it. I'm doing it. That's it. Touch it. Alright. Uh, that a girl. It's our own. You help her? Uh, just a little encouragement, a little pinch on the bottom, you know. Hey, new Academy record, well, three hours and five minutes. <laughs> Congratulations, you can go now. I made it! I told you you made it, of course you made it. Oh, 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 oh. Frisco, I'm sorry. Are you all right? Yeah. Oh, what did I do? Yeah, I'm fine. No, no, let me help you up. All right. Oh, no, you're hurt. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh no, wait a minute. Yeah. What happened? Oh, what it's have broken. I done? Everything's broken. Oh. Come on, let's try. Uh, no, we're not gonna try. Just give me a second. I'm sorry. Don't don't worry about it, okay? Call the sergeant in here, will ya? <clears throat> Go ahead. Go on. Alright. I'll be right back. Nothing. I hear it's all my fault. He's hurt. Let me help you. Sit down over here. All right. It's no big deal, really. Well, so tell me how it happened. Oh, he was helping me during maneuvers, and I fell on him. His ankle could be broken. It's not broken. You know what, no. Probably sprained. Well, are you going to be able to make it upstairs okay? Uh, look, don't... Uh, oh, sorry, don't, sorry, don't sorry. Don't worry about it, okay? Listen, yeah. um... There's a few questions that we have to ask you, if you don't mind. You got a minute? Well, yeah, I was on the way to the hospital, but I guess I have a minute. We were what talking kind of questions? Ramsey, okay, and he said that you had your keys stolen or lost or something, Yeah, well, right? they're, they're lost or maybe misplaced, I don't know. Do you uh, know when you lost them? Uh, not really, a while back, I guess. Can you remember if it was before the murder? The murder? I don't know why. Well, we're just trying to find out if they could have been stolen. Oh, no, I'm sure nobody stole them. I just hadn't really completely searched. 
Have you looked around your apartment for them at all? Well, yeah. Look, they just haven't made an all-out search yet. Well, why not? Because it didn't seem that important to me. You know, we have to realize if it was just your house keys or was it your car keys? How about the keys to your office? Well, it was my, it was the office keys. It wasn't the car keys because I keep them on a separate ring. So when I lost the, ho uh, the hospital keys, they got it replaced. Did you know when you did that? Yeah, it was a couple weeks ago. Um, how come you didn't have your house keys made again? Well, because there was always somebody here to open the door for me. Or I was with Tony. And you can't remember when you lost yours, exactly. No, not specifically. Uh, do you remember the last time you used them? Gosh, I don't have any idea. Yeah. Well, see, that would help if you knew that. Wait a second, I got the door. Here. Hi. Hi. Oh, I Let me introduce you. This is my partner, Sam. Hi, Sam. Oh, hi, Sam. Well, what are you guys doing? Uh, I'll just spend a little time with my sister-in-law here. You don't mind if we use the living room? Well, sure, go right ahead. You know Bobby loves when people feel at home here. Didn't you have some magazines you wanted to show me? Uh, yes. Come on, in my bedroom. Nice meeting you. Uh -huh. Let's go. Uh, Kevin what? and Terry, you reminded me of something. The exact same thing happened to Tony and me. What happened? We were coming home from the hospital. Tony forgot his key. We knocked on the door. Bobby came and answered the door. I was searching for the keys in the bottom of my purse. I found them. That was the last time I used them. Do you remember when that was? Um, Christmas time, because we were out shopping for presents. Before Christmas, which means it was before the murder. Yeah, it was before the murder. But they said that the murder was an inside job, right? Well, up until now, that was... That was what they thought, but no one broke into the brownstone the night of the murder. But that was before we knew you lost your keys. Well, or before someone stole them. So maybe it wasn't an inside job. It could be. Um, do you guys see it back to the hospital right now? Uh, well, yeah. Do you don't remember anything else, though? No, not really. I'm sorry. All right. Um, thanks. You're okay. welcome. I gotta get some ice. Here, here, let me, me help you upstairs. No, 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 I'll help him. I feel bad enough about this already. Get him inside. Okay. Yes, it kills. All right. Tanya, Sam will take care of me, all right? Don't worry about a thing. I know you gotta get to the hospital. I'll be fine. Oh. That is what I am worried about. Fine. You know, this has been a trick ankle for years. It's... Look, let's put it up here. Come on. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, there you go. How's that? That's much better. Okay. Great. Good. I got some ice here. Yeah, that's an old... Uh, <laughs> I think it's supposed to help. ...injury of mine. It hacks up all the time, really. There's no need to worry about it. The ice, the ice really helps. Thanks. It's great. I'm really sorry that this happened, Frisco. Oh, come on. Don't even think about it. I mean, what we have to figure out is... Who stole Tanya's keys? If they were stolen. Well, they had to be. It's the, it's the only thing that makes sense. Well, it would certainly explain how Neil Johnson got in here in the first place since nobody broke in. Yeah, but if he stole the keys, we'd have found them on his body. So, maybe the murderer stole the keys. Someone let Johnson into the brownstone and the murderer knew he was going to be here and he let himself in with Tanya's keys. Stab Johnson in the back. And slipped out of the house before anyone stopped him. Yeah, but what's the motive? If we knew the motive, then we could zero in on the killer. Okay. Excuse me. Hello. Cisco, it's me. Oh, hi, honey. How's your grandmother? Oh, she's doing better, but I want to stay until they let her out of the hospital. Um, how long before you think that'll be? I don't know. Maybe a week. What are you doing? Oh, just, you know, sitting around, not much. How's it going at the academy? Oh, fine, great. In fact, I'm on special assignment working with Ramsey on a murder case. That's wonderful. I miss you so much. Mm, me too. You still love me? Well, what kind of question is that? Of course I do. I think about you every minute of the day. You still miss me? Yeah. Yeah, of course I do. Hey, listen, tell your grandmother to get... Well, as soon as you can, okay? Well, tell her. I love you. Me too. Can't you say it? <laughs> well, sure, but you, you know I do. Is somebody there? Is that why you can't say it? No. 
No, I love you, honey. That's all I needed to hear. I'll call you tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, take care. Bye. I hope Felicia knows what a lucky girl she is, having somebody like you to be in love with. Hmm. Hi. Come in. Hi, Sam. Hi, Tony. <clears throat> What's up? Oh, I wanted to invite you for dinner. What happened to your ankle? Uh, no big deal. I twisted it. <laughs> no, he was helping me, and I fell on him. Yeah, maybe I better take a look at it. Um, I don't think it's broken or anything. No, it's not broken. Listen, Sam, if you've got something else to do, I think I can take care of that now. Yeah, I should be going anyway. Take care of that ankle first, and I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? Yeah. All right. Listen, thanks a lot. Yeah, bye-bye. What the hell are you doing? Tony. Tony, Tony. Mm -hmm. She was putting ice packs and heat packs on my ankle. That's kind of not thing. what it looked like. Well, I don't give a damn what it looked like to you. You know, this is the second time that I have walked in on the two of you. And if you're looking for trouble, you're going at it in exactly the right way. Trouble? T what are you talking about? Do I tell you that you can't take on female patients? I don't bring female patients home with me. Oh, will you lighten up? Hell, she's my partner. We work together. And she knows it. That's all it is. Does she? Yes, damn it. We work well together, and we're going to continue to work together. Case closed. Now, will you get out of here? Sure. Ah! Mm -hmm.